Life is full of surprises and sometimes they have a giant price tag. But I'm gonna help you prepare for that by setting up an emergency savings fund. Here's the thing you need to know first. An emergency fund is money that you have sitting on the sidelines, untouched, and it's important that you have this money so that you have something when the unforeseen hits. Illness is one of the biggest, a death in the family, divorce. There are also the natural life events related to careers, a layoff, a change in your income, a job change. All of these things can lead to very different financial outcomes for your lifestyle. And if you have that emergency savings fund ready to go in the event that you are facing financial hardship, you'll be so much better off and you won't have to shoulder both the economic and financial burden along with the emotional burden of these major lifestyle changes. Here's what you need to know next. In an ideal world, you put aside six months worth of emergency savings, but if you can't get there, at least have it be three months worth of savings to cover all the necessities in your life should the unforeseen hit. You wanna look at your weekly budget. How much are you spending on food and groceries? What is the cost of electricity and utilities? How much do you have to pay for rent or your mortgage? These are all necessities, things that you would have to make payments on in order to keep the status quo. And that's what you're really going for here. In the event of an emergency, how much money would you need to have set aside in order to cover all of your costs, even if, for example, you lost your job or had a giant unforeseen healthcare bill? Building an emergency savings takes work, and the last thing you want is to undo all of that hard work with a decision on the fly. Going on a cruise is not an emergency savings fund expenditure. Buying a new car. Here's a good barometer. Consider whether you actually need something to survive. If you don't, it's not an emergency.